and welcome to Desktop Dungeons. This game is currently free to keep on Steam until April 25th of 2023, so get it while you can. And we're going to try it out. It's a real like turn-based puzzle RPG game, so let's hit play. So the story begins. Creatures attacked in the night. The caravan was unprepared. Travelers have been warned about the unexplored realms, but pride often plays tricks on reasons. Flames and blood engulf the defenders. Nomad excels in vagabonds with only a handful of real fires among them. Injured, ill, trained, and separated from one another, many of the survivors have no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze like caverns. So here we are. So we got maximum missile heart. We're a human guard. We have one health. That's a goblin with 10. I don't want to fight him. I might want to run away. Oh, it's a dead end. And so I got some more health. We go here. Here, so I got health, so those two squares gave me health, so I have 7 health now. Now if I click on them, I did 5, click on again, and he's dead, so I get to move on. And I'm getting my health back. We go at an angle, okay. So we just click and move. So there's a guy once again, can I, okay. We can attack him from there, strike him again, he's down for the count. Let's go this way. Oh, we got zombie for 9 health. Oh, you gotta hold it in. And he's down, so it looks like we do 5 damage. So I'm healing our time to move. So what is this? Your current piety, current gold, your current conversion points. You can get a 10% attack bonus. Base damage is 5, the other dice. Mana, okay. So let's attack him. Oh, it's 15, you level 2 one. Oh. See if you can reach, okay. So once we survive this, my bad. So let me get health back. I guess I should pay attention. Alright, we killed him. So I'm gonna have to heal. I wonder if we can attack or move. So let's kill this guy. Let's keep him going down. We know the bad guy is somewhere. We don't want to fight him quite yet. We want to fight this guy. Oh, Super Meat Boy! I think that's what it is. Meat Man. Let's kill him. Okay, I'm fine. Can we regen some health? Okay. Now I can run away. I can heal. I kill this guy. What? He attacked first? Darn. Okay, I guess I should not rush it. Alright, so kill this guy. Easily. Now we move on. So we move on. Get down here. Kill this guy. Move on. We know there's Meat Boy down here somewhere. There's a zombie for me to kill. Okay. Meat Boy. Time to kill. He's dead. So next hit, he says you win. Okay, I gotta pay attention to that more. Kill the zombie. Now I leveled up and it says I can probably beat that guy. Okay, I get it now. I don't know why it took me so long. I'm distracted from the flam all over there playing, crying in the back right now. So safe. Alright, we're good. And we won. Alright, so now we gotta come over here. I'm gonna want my tech. Oh, we get everything? Oh, that's cool. I thought I was gonna make a choice. No, I like how I don't have to make a choice. And that's any level, imagine? Or is that a spell? Burn Day Raz. Six damage or six mana costs four damage. Burns your enemies for four points of magical damage per character level. Slow burn. Oh, pick up. That's all I only got so far. Looks like I won't do much damage. That does a lot more. And then I can attack him. So I can't do it right away. I'm gonna die, so let's get out of there. Go. Oh. This is awkward. Oh, there, I got some help. We attack him. We use our burn damage. He's down. Get some health. I don't quite want to use a health potion yet. How's my mana working? Looks like we're good. We get safe. And he's dead. Always looking for that wind calm. So we got a zombie here. Might as well use our mana. Looks like it recharges pretty quick. We leveled up. Ooh, what's this? A pendant of health. 10 plus health. This item glows slightly red when worn, offering a bonus of maximum health. Pick up. Ah, that's good. Alright, we gotta be level 4 for that guy, he recommends. Alright, so let's go on this way. Let me go around. Mana potion. Don't really need it right now. Let's see what else we have a spore. So I might as well use this. And he's dead. Okay, now I use that again. Now attack him. He's dead. Ooh, what's this? Man uh, pendant of mana, plus two mana. Okay, pick up. 
Okay, that's pretty good. So those are my slots. So my spell slots also count. Uh, what else we got here? We need one more guy to face. Ooh. Try burning him. So he's safe. We're safe. Now we have death. So let's come back to get the hope potion. Maybe come to get the mana. Oh, I gotta pick it up. So guaranteed to restore 4%. Well, I gotta use it right now. Okay, so we could pick these up. So I didn't look what the mana was. I could have set it. My bad. Burn him. And then kill him. Okay. Let's burn him. And then he's dead. Get our health back. Um, Cessation Stone. High conversion value. It completely entered at first. Yield. Okay, so I'll just hold on to it, I guess. So we might as well use this guy. Try killing him. I we're full health now. Might as well try dealing some damage to this guy. Safe. And next hit would be death. Alright, so that was too worth it. So now we attack that guy. He's dead. I leveled up now. I'm back at max health. But still, let's kill this guy first. Okay. Let's go back and try this guy. Oh, it wants me to go here. Burn him. Alright. Oh, uh, 27 damage. Jeez. I do 22. He's dead. Go explore. We got zombie for me to kill. Okay, game's pretty simple. So if you have a low end computer, it will handle this game. And it's actually kind of fun. So it's kind of. It. Hmm. I mean, you, there's a strategy in this game. Because you can see I die like crazy rushing. I just. Instead of just taking my sweet all the time. Alright, so we want to kill this guy. And he's dead. Keep on exploring. Oh no. Uh oh. Keep on going. I'm wasting exploring these tiles. I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Let's burn him. Let's move away. Let's burn him. Let's move away. And bait. Okay. Burn this guy. Um, one more move. Burn him. Go for pickup. Oh, so the potions we have more than one slot. I can't quite burn you yet. Now I can. I just got to kill him. There we go. I leveled up now. Ooh, we have this guy to kill. Okay. Try to kill him. He's dead. Alright. I gotta move for some mana. Alright, now we have enough. I'm just gonna take some hits. And I win. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. So my name is Slashy Dungeoneer. Okay, because it changed the guy died. Goat Horn, this trophy is what you came here for, Grabbing, let's go. So congratulations on making it for your first dungeon. In case you're still uncertain about some things, we'd like to offer you the guided tutorials before plunging into the full game experience. Otherwise, feel free to move on. Onward, no basic tutorial. So, ho, welcome to Desktop Dungeons, a random regenerate turn-based puzzle roguelike thing of dungeoneering, heroism, and monster slaying. To get started, click on a new sign near your character and read what it has to say. Greetings, adventurer. You're in the legendary depths of the lost tutorial, one dungeon. One of many semi-round cave networks left behind by the old kingdom. Nobody knows what they're here for, but everyone agrees they're awesome. When you're done reading this, click on the visible grabbing bit. Okay. Click, 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 click. To right stands a typical dungeon master. You'll find that combat in the game is surprising detail, nuance, and flexibility. For now, however, you should just click on the baddie until he dies. Click, click. Okay, so I learned all that. So that's our hell. Okay, so we move on. We regain health. We go for here. Next we're done. We can move Dangle. Um, bad guy, Meat Man, and Compliance of Progression set out by Toriel. Okay. So we can kill this guy. Whoa, wait. The monster's high lower than you. If you keep fine, you'll lose. Okay. So kind of interesting. So now we can hit him again. No, he already regained health. So I have to come back for him, as you're telling me. If you happen to have injured any creatures, our state of the art foe regeneration tracker will keep track of their health. Okay, Adventurer Tutorial Play Community. Alright, so we gotta destroy all these guys. Move on. Destroy. Move on. Destroy. You can find more than useful information. Right click a target. Okay. Great, check the right side of your screen. So if I click a tab of a right click, it brings it up. So like I can right click this guy and say pacifist. I can talk to him. Oh, that's cool. 
and tells you what that video goes kill him right you earn enough experience to level up you can fully heal and your next stats improved so i go fight meat man all right first i want to talk to him so can we i have to attack him that stinks i'm um, sorry dude oh you said you certified badass now you should go find something else to kill onwards and upwards Yo, guys, it's a goat. Get out of there here, brave adventurer. Take this side patch before he eats our soul. Oh, goats are mean. Okay. Ah, oh, just kidding. This is a dead end. You're going to die. Oh, no. It's going to teach me how to die. I already know how to die. Oh, oh that's cool. And it shows you everywhere. But I can not get to all places. Your adventurer has met an ink of being early dead. I healed Jones. So, tutorial complete. We're in the kingdom of the land. So, of the people who escaped the initial attack on the camp, many perished in a deadly underground dungeon. Oh, because you're a group of people that actually escaped, so everyone who died is part of the group and who made alive be able to... Okay, that makes sense. So many perished in deadly underground dungeons, others pressed on their determination to survive up in the odds. Alright. Tutorial easy, level 2. Is that the way I have to go? A fresh new adventure inside a fresh new dungeon. Here's hoping that this brave explorer is more fortunate than the last. Let's get straight to the satanic warlock. My name is Bendy Camelot. Oh, I can actually step on this stuff. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Warlock. Attack. Not too shabby, but this will be great to improve your odds against these foes. So now I'm trying to search and for power up. I can do that. Warning, attack power ups ahead. Use only in case of extreme mercy. There we go. Oh, we got a bunch of them. When you walk over and attack power up, it probably increases your damage. You're lucky enough to fight. Okay. So it's permanently. I don't have to worry about it. Dead in one shot. You become dead slightly more effective in combat. Okay. I realize that. Constitution boost. Yes. I got one heart. Uh, two hearts at it. Increase your maximum health instead of heal your damage. So if I had like five health, I would be 12 max possible, but I still be at five health is what I'm getting at. Let's kill the glove. Oh, you haven't done so already. Take a look at the combat information panel. Yeah, that's right clicking. He has physical resistance, which I can't do anything about. I don't want to deal with that. Oh, I can't walk over that now. Arcane amplifier. Okay, so that's helping on spellcasting. It only gets me one like the health. Okay. Oh, for love of Torg, another goat. No. Goat's gonna kill me. Run. Run away from a goat. Goats are deadly. Now this is more like it, you just score a dungeon exit. Retiring early is most glory. Okay, well, I have to retire because the only enemies I can kill is a goat, and I'm gonna kill the goat, so let's retire. Tutorial complete. Congratulations on your dungeon survival. I was all involved in that terrible caravan attack, but managed to avoid harm by hiding in my scarred document closet. Your experiences have made one thing clear to the rest of the survivors. There is to be any hope for us. We need to bang together and evade operations. We need a kingdom. To make this anything more than a low adventure band dream, you need to secure funds for development. Your survival and your experience have inspired hope in the members of this camp. They voted to put you in charge. It's time to gather the rabble and loot some dungeons. As newly elected Kingdom Minister, I think you can do with a little help from professional advice monger such as myself. Why don't you help? Okay. So, next adventure, when you go. Tutorial level 3. So, we got fret, we got bosses, and select. So we have one racer now, we just have humans in our kingdom, and so I click on him, and we only have one class right now as a guard. I can't name him, and now we auto advance, so your new hero, and then we put play. We got something, the legendary dungeon of Din treasures, while exploring, why not help yourself, okay. We got burns a day, I know how to use that, I'm good. Okay, I use my new spell. Oh, I gotta pick it up, duh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I got too far ahead, I see you. If you need to equip, okay. So let's use a spell once again and move on. We run out of mana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, because I sport, I can use again. Um, I want to right click on it. No, yeah. Why can't I use my spell now? Oh, that's not okay. That's like a switch spell. Got it. For speed. So that's eight damage because I leveled up. Now we gotta go up in our dungeon. Ooh, this is a trap. No? We have, oh, the uh, gold, 16 gold, along with, uh oh, sounds like treasure was a trap. You hear something big and slang. Run! Oh no. The creature's blocking your exit and seems to be immune to magic. Spell won't do much, uh oh. 
So use here. So why not convert it? Conversion is a neat way to recycle all inventories. Okay. Oh, that's how I convert it. Great, so doing this item fills up your conversion bar. If the item has enough conversion value, the bar resets your character gains an extra stat bonus. Oh, so if you don't like an item, that's useful actually. I like that. So I just selling it. We got an exit already. Tutorial complete. So in direction of our efforts, Bold Administrator, the bounty from that dungeon can now be put to good use. Your Fudgeon Kingdom is to survive beyond its first few weeks. You will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep at bay. Your new position gives you responsibility over the collective funds and efforts. This represents a user's advantage. So 150 gold. The current tax is insured survival, so we're going to upgrade our guild. So we upgrade and we get a new class, it looks like. Upgrade complete. So, Kingdom Ministry, remember this moment well for you. You've just taken your first tentative step down a long, glorious path. Under your guidance, we have built a kingdom to challenge the gods himself. Oh, don't get so cocky, dude. New class is a fighter. So, you have a fighter class. Class unlock trophy hunting. Ministry, our scouts have discovered a monster lair in the surrounding area. It's time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes load up and move on to victory. Oh, well, that sounds like an interesting project. Oh, sorry for butting in. We'll chat later. Right. Tutorial easy, level four. Boss easy. Oh, easy Fred, and we got a boss, and we have a quest here. So select. And I'm choosing my race as a human, and I'm taking a fighter. So I'm gonna hit play. So here is your tower trap. Your goal is dungeon zero. Find the boss and slay. All right, let's go. Pick up. Yes, yes, yes. I want to pick up that. We got, ooh, a sword for two damage. I like this. There we go, we got seven. A shield to reduce damage, that's nice. And pension for help. Ooh, that's real useful. And one for mana. Let me go, and we got some health potion. Man, they're being really nice to us. Oh yeah, I can pick them up. Pick it up, all right. But, oh no, it's a goat. They try to go to wait to at the end of the quarter. No hints and no hold hand holding. Okay. Oh, um, just keep on doing it. So he can't tap back and fire. Alright. It should be fine. Oh. So next hit would be very long if and he does twelve. But I'm gonna have one health left. So no matter what I'm gonna take a potion. Okay, that was kinda stupid. I'm gonna be deaf. Now I can win. Ooh, one time the goat has dropped a trophy for you to claim. Grabbing a monster trophy ends the dungeon session. Okay, pretty simple. And exit. Ooh, trophies. 150 gold. Victory, your hero parades through muddy streets of your rapid growing settlement. Goat horn claps and one mailed fist. Fist. Oh, okay. Rich petals and jubilant souls alike fill the air as Tim come out to celebrate. Mr. Glee, a lone figure approaches you as you recline your miniature in a prude villain chair. Hey there, I can't help but know it's a sheer amount of fun that you're having with that chunk of monster skull. I had to have a business proposal. This may seem right before, but I was a real taxidermist, of course you were. In the surrounding realms, I know a lot of very rich buyers who would love a mount of beastie head of some kind hanging over their fire parades and bragging rights, I see. Because they're going to say they actually slaughtered, but I did. Long well, story short, I'd like to buy that trophy from you. I have a gold right here. This new kill needs some kind of regular income, right? We'll work with me and we can build an entire economy around slaying evil. Pretty sure this will turn out long and mutual profit. New trophy sold. 150 gold. What's the lock? Guild expansion. There's more than one way to slay the average dungeon master rate, and Akina's population is one of diverse talents and interests. Magic users, holy men, and even common cult horses are interested in finding the good find, especially if there's money involved. Alright, monster trophies are valuable, yeah, yeah. Okay, in the structure will give you priests, wizards, and thieves. I want wizards. Upgrade. Sweet. I got upgrades more later on. We got a class of wizard, guild expansion, and now class unlock city expansion. A brand new kingdom is still in great peril. The designs of a nearby dungeon are brewing down our necks. If a brave hero wanders in and slays the leaders in each of the air rest should be demoralized enough to scatter. Most autonomous and independent thinking minister, I believe you learned enough to start performing kingdom duties in which we will see most fit. It's about hand advise you when new mayors come up 
But from here on, you might consider your decisions opportunity somewhat more open and have fun. Easy, easy, and easy. I think it's a good item point. I think we've beat the tutorial now. Now we can play the main game. So you want to see more of this game? I recommend it. At least subscribe if you want for it. So also comment out in the comments. I think you should play more of this game. If not, that's fine. So yeah, it is free to keep until April 25th. So you might as well get it. It's free on Steam. So like always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Comment down below. And bye.